Palacios, how do you feel that, how do you feel about being a senior teacher who've seen a lot of classes graduate and you've seen that they respected their previous campuses, coming here again and having to see that these students don't, how does that make you feel? Um, I know that uh, my seniors have heard uh, me speak a lot about this issue and I think it's important for the whole school um, to really take uh, responsibility about taking care of our campus. Um, this is my 10th year here at LCPA and this is where we started when I first started here at LCPA. We were actually where Summit was and it was always very important as school culture for us to really take care of the campus and to take care, to take care of the things that we had. Um, because we didn't have fancy furniture and nice books and nice laptops. We didn't even have laptops at all. And we had to make do with what we had and we still uh, took care of everything and took care of the campus and, and tried to make the best. And now that we're in the be this beautiful building, which we have worked so hard, I think, to be in, um, we should feel very proud to be in such a really great facility and we really need to take care of it. We need to show that we as Latinos can take care of things, can um, be respectful and, um, and all of us together need to make sure that we're keeping each other accountable. So if you see you know, another person doing something, you ask them, hey, please pick that up, pick something up after yourself. Um, you know, it's not fair for um, Don Juan, for Richard, Ivan, Martin to be cleaning up after everybody like if they were, you know, babies. Uh, I think all of you are young adults and should be very capable of picking up after yourselves and taking care of our campus. Uh, otherwise, we don't know if we'll be able to stay here and, and, and that would not be, speak very highly of of our school. Now, Mr. Herrera, I see that you were agreeing and shaking your head, you too, Mr. Lomeli, but you seemed more into wanting to, you know, jump in. How do you feel about the students not following our disciplinary, disciplinary rules at the campus? Well, I just want to start off by saying that I think um, I, I, I want to uh, I want to recognize uh, some of the students that are doing that. I think there are quite a few students that are that are cleaning up after themselves, that are being respectful uh, to our campus. Uh, this message is really going out, in my opinion, to a, uh, to a small minority who are, who are being disrespectful um, by, um, by not uh, picking up after themselves or by purposefully um, vandalizing um, our walls and the hallways and, and just breaking rules uh, that that we've uh, put in place, uh, for example, the elevator as well. So, um, I I agree with Mrs. Uh, with Ms. Palacios. We have uh, we we've, we've had we have this opportunity to be in this uh, beautiful building, this beautiful campus, where in the past we haven't been so fortunate. But we need to take care of of what we have, and we and uh, and we need to understand um, that there are going to be certain rules um, that we need to that we need to follow. So. Um, to those students who are um, who are not um, picking up after themselves, who are who are purposefully um, vandalizing uh, the building, uh, whether it be uh, um, uh, playing too rough and and making holes in the walls, or uh, whether it be uh, um, writing on walls or things like that, tagging, um, I would just say to them that they. Uh, they, they, they need to be more respectful and they need to understand that it's not, this is not, um, um, this is not something that we're going to have no matter what. This is going to, we're going to have this as long as we take care of it. Um, Mr. Alvarez, how do you feel about having to pick up after students and stay to just keep this campus clean and maintain it with the other janitors like Mr. Don Juan and everyone else who helps. How do you feel about that? Well, I feel like most of the students do follow the rules, but there are some that, that need to be improved on. Some areas outside need to be improved on. We asked 
them to keep it clean, but they keep keeping it dirty, and we have to go there and clean it up every day. And we keep asking them, keep it clean, or you're not going to be able to stay there. Yeah. But they, some of them do not follow the rules, but most of them do. And uh, Mr. Lomeli, uh, as a principal, how do you feel that, as I mentioned before, there was a warning already, and it went in through one ear and came out the other. How do you feel the students are acting towards that? Mm -hmm. Well, I think we we always have to come back, and and I'm glad you know we're hearing from from Mr. Alvarez, from Mr. Vera, Rocio, Palacios, Palacios, um, people that have been here for many years and understand how far we've come. Um, you know, a, a lot of you guys, your your siblings were here, and you understand that sense of pride that we have. So we have pride for this school. I mean, a lot of your teachers have been here for many years, and it's because uh, because we are prideful of who we are and what we're aspiring to do and what our students have been able to accomplish. Um, um, here in Eastside San Jose, where a lot of people have written us off, like they did me when I was in Eastside Salinas, and said, this kid's gonna be a gangster, this kid's gonna be in drugs, or this kid's not gonna go to college. And we're defining that, and we're making a difference, and a lot of people are being very successful. Um, and and um, I think it's a shame that we're not taking that same level of pride over our facilities, because now we're finally in a college campus in one of the most beautiful high schools, I believe, in all of San Jose, up there with some of the top schools that invest a lot of money, uh, and that have a lot of money to invest. And here we are in Eastside San Jose, and we have some of the top technology. A lot of you guys have, in most of the classrooms, we have brand new devices, top multi-million dollar facilities, um, and we need to appreciate that and demonstrate that we are um, able to continue to be successful at those high rates, and that we are not just successful academically, but we're also as people, that we're also prideful, that we also uh, have that sense of community and family and uh, this is ours this is our home so if someone's messing up your home you're not just gonna be like oh whatever yeah right on my walls it's all good at least my, you know my mom will clean it no you, you're, you're gonna stand up and you're gonna say uh, you need to pick that up that happened to me once I had some friends over at my house they were horsing around messing around they knocked over one of my mom's uh, cantaros right from Mexico broke it I got pissed off and I kicked all my friends out. I didn't care if they were my friends, not my friends. I just kicked them all out. I said, you guys get out of here. This is my home and you guys respect my home. If you don't respect my home, you gotta go. And that's the way that I would like a lot of us, you students, to act. This is my home. You're not gonna come into my home and mess it up. We're gonna take care of our home. We're gonna pick up after ourselves. And most of you, like Mr. Herrera mentioned, a lot of you guys are doing a really good job. Um, you guys help in picking up. Sometimes I just, turn to someone and then and you see trash and you pick it up and you throw it away. I appreciate that. But more of us need to do that and we need to begin to hold each other accountable. So as students, how do you feel listening to the feedback you're getting from people who have tried to talk to us and are letting us know that if we can't take care of our campus, this might not be ours for that long? Um, well, first of all, I just feel like it's just a matter of us being responsible for ourselves and for our building because this is a good campus and by what I've heard people actually like this place and I wouldn't feel comfortable moving back anywhere although I haven't been anywhere else my first year here like I wouldn't feel comfortable moving all over again and I've heard a lot of other people from other grades say that they didn't feel comfortable on other campuses and now that this one's really nice for them so I just don't feel like it would be good moving again. Jennifer, how do you feel? In all honesty, we need to all act our age. Like, if we're not going to do it at home, why do it here? We're, we spend most of our time here anyways. I mean, juniors and seniors, we spent a couple years at the other campus. And from the other campus to this campus, it's a drastic change. It's beautiful. It's huge. And we're just going to destroy it just because we feel like it. We need to all step up. So... So I'd like to thank all you guys for taking the time and talking and maybe this being like a last resort kind of thing, it is something that needs to change. Even though it's not a major problem, it is an issue and bad habits die young, I guess. 
we don't want it to become a bad habit. Again, this is our campus. I would love to graduate from this campus next year. I want to keep it, and I'm sure seniors don't want to have to move to Summit and graduate from Summit this year. I mean, this is our home. This is our school, and I appreciate you guys coming and letting everybody know that if we don't change now, it might end up really badly. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us. Yay! <laughs> <laughs>